Seven Senses of the Reunion begins by showing a group of legendary members in the game union named Sabaru. The majority of the group members are still elementary school children. Their group leader is a man named Haruto, a fighter, and a deputy leader is a man named Takanori, a priest. Their members consist of a woman named Asahi, who can see the future, a woman named Satsuki, a magician, a man named Clive, a shapeshifter magic user, and a woman named Nozomi, who is a dream world magician. When the Sabaru members are in the game union, they walk through a dungeon, meet a very powerful monster, and work together to defeat it. But when Haruto was protecting Nozomi, suddenly the monster attacked him, so Asahi had to protect him. As a result, she died from being hit by the monster's attack. The scene moves to the real world, where all of the Sabaru members go to Asahi's house. Turned out they found her dead after playing the game. The news says that game players can die in the real world. Because of that incident, it caused the game to be closed. However, in reality, Asahi was declared dead of a heart attack. Sadly, Takanori blamed Haruto for her death, so he felt very guilty. After several years, Haruto accidentally saw the news about the reunion game on television. But at that time, only a few people were allowed to play it. Not long after, he got a message from his friend who asked him to play the game and work with them to win it. He accepted it and logged into the game. However, his account has been reset to become a novice player because it has not been used for six years, so his current position is weak. In the game, Haruto and his friend explore the dungeon and find a treasure chest. He opened the treasure chest and was surprised to see that it was Asahi. At that time, she was asleep and woke up because her chest was open. As a result, they were able to meet again. Turned out that she still had memories of her past and all of her friends, but Asahi didn't realize that she had died six years ago. When she wanted to log out from the game, the logout button didn't work anymore. Even her account was not registered with the game. Suddenly, a group of strangers who knew Asahi and her strength came in front of her. They wanted her to join them. It turns out that her power has not disappeared and can still see the future. So many teams want to invite her to join them. Soon afterward, Takanori, who had become a strong player, came to help Haruto and Asahi. He easily defeated the entire army. After that, he asked Asahi to join the Illuminati team, but she refused and wanted to be with Haruto. In the afternoon, Satsuki came to Haruto's house. She was very happy because Haruto was back again playing the reunion game. Then they both log into the game and meet Asahi. She tries to tell Asahi the truth. However, Asahi still thinks that she is still alive. Suddenly, a group of foreigners came who wanted to invite Asahi into their team. Satsuki immediately slaughtered them all with ease. It is known that Satsuki is an old player, so she already has very great strength. Not long after, Haruto met a woman named Alicia. She asked him to take care of Asahi. Because Asahi's resurrection is an evil plan from an unknown group who wants to take her ability to see the future. Alicia also asked him to become stronger so he could protect Asahi. On the other hand, Satsuki and Asahi were arguing. Satsuki asks her to stay away from Haruto because her death makes him become a loner. When Haruto saw that they were arguing about him, he chose to log out of the game. Then Satsuki logged out and went after him to his house. Arriving at Haruto's house, Satsuki shows him a ring and reminds him that they are members of Sabaru's team. After that, Haruto went to Asaha's grave to dig the ground and retrieve the ring he had buried there for a long time. He was determined to return to Reunion and try to be strong again. While at Haruto's house, Satsuki saw her memorable photo with Haruto. She reminisced about him helping her when she was attacked by a monster in the game, and that's the reason she liked him. The next day, Haruto and Satsuki logged into the game, while Asahi was already waiting in the game. They head to the dungeon arena they played six years ago so that Haruto can defeat his past. When they got there, a guard monster that closed the exit door appeared, so they had no choice but to fight the monster. However, the monster easily overpowered them. Even the monster's attack made Haruto's ring fall out of his pocket. Seeing this, he took his ring and put the ring back on his finger. Suddenly his strength returns again so he can defeat the monster easily. After the monster was defeated, they immediately left the dungeon. They found a red crystal shard in front of the dungeon's exit. Then they can see what happened to them six years ago. At that time, Asahi was in the laboratory room, but the memory of it is still unclear. Soon afterward, they went to her house to rest and chat. They planned to regroup the rest of Sabaru's team, but they must find Clive and Nozomi. When the three of them went to look for an informant, a man named Litos and his troops from the Southern Cross group confronted them. At the same time, a man named Angelus, with his troops from the Brill Society group, also came. Afterward, Angelus asked Litos to retreat so that there would be no fight between them. Then Litos and his troops left from there. Angelus asked Asahi to join his team, but she refused. Knowing she won't join his team, he threatens Asahi and her friends that he will destroy them all because her ability makes the reunion world into chaos. Luckily, there was no fight there, 
So they continued their journey towards a heavenly tower which was the place where Asaha's sense was first activated. At that place, they met the boss monster in the tower, and then they fought against the monster. Even though they had managed to defeat the monster, Satsuki was annoyed that Haruto cared more about Asahi than her. Asahi got the same piece of red crystal again, but the crystal was snatched by Takanori, who was suddenly there too. Shortly afterward, he said that Haruto didn't deserve to be beside her. Hearing that, Haruto got heated up until the two of them fought. Asahi then shattered Takanori's seal to stop the fight between them. He seems to want to separate Haruto from Asahi because he likes her. Eventually, Takanori decided to leave and disappeared from there. The next day, Takanori meets with Litos and Angelus to work together. They plan to trap Haruto, Satsuki, and Asahi in a thick fog, so that the three of them can be separated. After that, they went to Haruto, Asahi, and Satsuki, who were in the middle of the forest, to create a fog around them. In the thick fog, Satsuki faced Angelus, Haruto faced Litos and Asahi faced Takanori. Takanori's goal was to do that because he wanted to be with Asahi in the reunion world. At the same time, Satsuki took the opportunity to be with Haruto in the real world if Asahi was already with Takanori. When Haruto was dealing with Litos, suddenly Alicia appeared there. She helped him against Litos, Angelus, and Takanori. Her presence there made them all run away from the place. Without Haruto knowing, Asahi had been knocked out by Takanori and entrusted to his subordinates. It turned out that his subordinates had been controlled by Angelus, so Asahi was taken by Litos and Angelus who had betrayed him. After that, they created a new group called Divine. The group has a large number of troops. After Haruto found out that Asahi had been kidnapped by them, he immediately went to their headquarters and barged in there. When he got there, Haruto was confronted by the troops inside the base. He also faced the entire army there alone. Even though he was hit by repeated attacks, he still got up to save Asahi. On the other hand, Satsuki meets Takanori and advises him not to sacrifice his friend for a woman because that would make him a coward. She wants to keep saving Asahi. She doesn't care about her feelings for Haruto anymore. The most important thing for her is that all of her friends can be reunited. After meeting Takanori, Satsuki went to Divine Headquarter to help Haruto. Arriving there, she saw that Haruto had been cornered by the forces of the Divine Group. It turned out that Takanori came to the base to break in and attack each other. Then Litos and Angelus appeared. At that time, Angelus used Asaha's power to attack Takanori, while Haruto faced off with Litos. At the same time, Satsuki summoned six dragons to obey her orders and attacked the entire Divine Army. By exerting all their strength, finally, Angelus and Litos were defeated. After that incident, Asahi and Satsuki became friends again, even though they both agreed to win Haruto's heart without dispute. The next day, they get information about the whereabouts of the unbreakable sword in Las Pentagon. Haruto wanted to get it, so his power could become even stronger. They decided to go there together using Alwada's ship. While in the middle of the sea, they dived into the water to look for Haruto's previous sword. After the sword is found and wants to be pulled out, a dead sea monster named Ayagir appears. Luckily, Clive came and helped put up the fight. Finally, they can get away from the monster. Then, Clive immediately left there. Not long after, Takanori and Satsuki met Haruto in the real world. Takanori explained that Asahi's body might exist in the real world. However, some of them do not believe it. After that, they continued searching for Haruto's sword and met Clive there. Clive wants to help them fight Ayagir. Then he uses Satsuki's shapeshifting power and magic so that they can move freely in the water to easily lure Ayagir to the surface. In the end, Satsuki manages to slash Ayagir. When Haruto wanted to pull out his sword, Clive suddenly stabbed him. Seeing this, Asahi uses her power called Prophet Art. It looks like Haruto is trapped in the world of Prophet Art. Knowing that, Alicia went to him and explained that the powers in the game could be used in the real world. Turned out that reunion officials had planned to get the power of the Prophet Art. After that, Alicia left. Previously she asked Haruto how to get out of the world of Prophet Art. Afterward, Haruto talked to Asahi and intended to bring all the members of Sabaru so that they could comply with her wishes. Because of that, Haruto was finally free so that he could uncover the criminal disguised as Clive, who turned out to be a member of Genosis. Shortly afterward, Haruto gathered with Takanori and the others. Haruto explained that he had been trapped in the world of Prophet Art, but they still don't believe it. However, they ensured they still had to protect Asahi from the members of Genosis. Not only that, Alicia asked Clive to gather all of Sabaru's members. After that, Haruto and Satsuki walk towards Nozomi's house. After meeting Nozomi, it turns out that she has become a magazine model. There, Haruto explained that Asahi was still alive in the reunion game. Because of that, they asked Nozomi to log into the game so they could get together and play together again. Sometime later, the Sabaru members wanted to attend a dance event. Not long after, Satsuki invited Haruto to be her partner. 
she gave a sign that she had feelings for him. However, he wanted to go with Asahi instead. Finally, the dance event they had been waiting for arrived. However, that day was sad for Satsuki because she was rejected by Haruto. On the other hand, Takanori was also rejected by Asahi because she chose to dance with Haruto, so he ended up dancing with Satsuki. A few moments later, Nozomi arrived there. She saw Takanori dancing with Satsuki, and her feelings were crushed. It turns out that she has had feelings for Takanori for a long time. When Nozomi is sad, she is visited by a man who is a member of Genosis. He plans to use her as a tool to divide Sabaru's members. The next day, Haruto and his friends get news from Nozomi's mother that Nozomi has disappeared. Hearing that, Clive checked the coordinates in the game. It is known that after attending a dance event, she was then taken to the Dragon Castle. Then they immediately went there together to look for Nozomi. Arriving there, the Sabaru members were confronted by Nozomi's familiar in the form of a barrier seal. After destroying the familiar, they meet Nozomi and a male member of Genosis there. It looks like she has turned into a more mischievous figure. She also gave Asahi a nightmare that made her suffer. Suddenly, the building collapsed and hit Nozomi and the man. Fortunately, Haruto and his friends managed to survive because there was a protector from Asahi. While in the real world, Satsuki, Takanori, and Haruto discuss the events that previously happened while eating together at the dining table. Satsuki thinks that Nozomi seems jealous when seeing her dancing with Takanori. Hearing that, Takanori realizes that Nozomi has feelings for him. Suddenly, when the three of them were talking, a man who was a high-ranking Genosis leader appeared beside Haruto. Turned out that they could use their powers in the game in the real world. After greeting them, the man disappeared. Not long after, the Sabaru members regrouped to meet Asahi in the game. They saw a beautiful purple tower in the middle of the forest and thought that the tower was made by Nozomi. After that, they decided to go in there and trace it to the top of the tower. At that place, they met Nozomi who immediately took out all her familiars to attack them. After that, she changed her form into a monster. Seeing that, Takanori tried to resuscitate her until they fell to the floor. He is willing to accept all attacks from Nozomi and explains that he has no relationship with Satsuki. He then apologizes for not realizing her feelings for him. Finally, Nozomi woke up, and Takanori could erase the evil aura in her. Their relationship is now getting closer. They fight together to defeat the members of Genosis who have used her. When the man was about to be defeated, Asahi simultaneously lost consciousness with a blank stare. Haruta wanted to wake her up, but she shot him instead. Asahi realized and regretted her actions when she saw Haruto lying down. Because of that, she let out her strength, making her unconscious. Suddenly, Haruto's soul entered his mind, and he tried to calm him down. He tries to awaken his hidden power to resuscitate Asahi and defeat the members of Genosis. After that incident, the members of Sabaru have now regrouped. Alicia suddenly met them there, and she was the seventh Sabaru group member. Soon afterward, Takanori and Nozomi meet in the real world. She was very happy to be together with him. Likewise, Haruto, Alicia, and the other members are happy to be together. The moral that can be learned from this anime is, that even when we love the same person, remember that friendship is also an important relationship that we must maintain.